when I consider affordable wash and goes, this is one of the nicest, like affordable wash and goes that I've had. First, I'm gonna rinse out this old wash and go. This was the Innocence wash and go, and I ended up loving it after a few tries, but I ended up loving it. I'm gonna rinse that out thoroughly and I am gonna detangle my hair under running water with my Cosmology brush. It was very easy to do because the Innersense products make my hair feel amazing. Anyway, I'm going in with AG Balance. I always say I don't use this often and I'm realizing I absolutely do, or I did because this video is literal months old, but I did use it a lot. I was using this shampoo so much and it's because I love it. And I'm always like, yo, I don't use that every week. I don't use that very, I don't use it every week, but my goodness, I used it at least once every two to three weeks during the summertime. And I don't know what to tell you. I really used it because I wanted to make sure that my hair was balanced and it is a good balancing shampoo. It can be a little over clarifying, but I didn't want to leave any of the Innersense products in my hair. And if you've seen the video, you've known that I co-washed, I co-washed a few times. So I had layers on layers of Innersense in my hair and I didn't wanna leave it in there. So yeah, I thoroughly enjoy detangling my hair under running water. Y'all, there is nothing else like it. I washed my niece's hair this past weekend and I detangled their hair in the shower under running water. It was after the shampoo session and I really should have detangled beforehand. And in some sections I did. But I was like, oh my gosh, this is the literal yes. It was so easy for them. They just got tired of standing, but it was so easy for them. And I was able to thoroughly shampoo their hair like I'm doing in this video and thoroughly condition and detangle under that running water. I mean, it's really a game changer. But I've learned recently that I can only do it when my hair is actually still feeling moisturized. If I try to do that, and when I'm rinsing out the product and my hair is feeling a little dry, it's, an, it's a no-go. I'll, I'll just wait until I'm deep conditioning my hair. I'm going in with K18 as my deep conditioner and that's gonna be my only conditioning product in this video. Now, if you've watched my last video, you'd know that I'm an Olaplex girly. I was trying the K18 because I wanted to give it a go as well, but I really do prefer the Olaplex for right now. It's just my preference, but that's what I decided to go in with for my deep conditioner this time. And I went ahead and let that sit in my hair for about 30 minutes, only because I knew I was gonna end up rinsing it out. Hair feels like it had a full on deep conditioner in it. For the first styler, I'm going in with the Texture ID Styling Cream. Now they say that this is ideal for curls that need extra control and conditioning. This ultra rich whipped cream is enhanced with coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, and wheat protein to provide superb curl definition and frizz protection. It's great for twist outs, rod sets, and protective styles. So am I expecting a great wash and go from this? No, because it doesn't even say that it can give me one. <laughs> and I'm very aware. However, I've seen many naturals use this product in a wash and go, and they've had success with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try, especially since I've used the pattern cream for a wash and go. And at the time it wasn't my favorite, but I look back on some pictures that I have from that wash and go and just on the video and I'm like, it was actually really bomb, but comparing it to the leave-in conditioner, the leave-in conditioner was really meant for the wash and goes, so. Yeah, but that cream, it was still bomb. So I have hope for this wash and go. It applied to my hair really well. It smelled like absolutely nothing, which I don't mind because I'm always gonna go in with my Weedod Mangongo oil at the end and it's very aromatic. I love it, it smells great. The smell didn't bother me. It smelled like something, but it smelled like nothing. <laughs> so there's that. But it applied to my hair pretty decently. I had to work it in really well with water and I was pretty generous. I used about a third or a fourth of the jar so if you're curious about that, yes, I was a bit heavy handed, but I used as much as I felt was necessary and it was giving me really good definition. I did have to add water to make sure that my hair was actually getting defined and not staying a little bit frizzy. But once I added more water as I was going, it really gave nice definition. And once all of my hair was styled, I went ahead and plopped on a shower cap and continued with my shower routine for about 10, 15 minutes. And then it was time to finish styling with the mousse. 
the Texture ID Thermal Multi-Styling Foam. So it says that it provides light hold while improving elasticity and shine. Great for natural styles as well as blowouts. It provides heat protection up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lightweight formula and it's alcohol free. In the product description, it does say that it helps shape and define curls. And I was finding that it was doing a really good job of like clinging on to my little individual curls and really helping them pop. I enjoyed using the mousse. I had no problem using the mousse. This also didn't smell. It did a really good job of what it said it was gonna do. Since it was a light hold product, I was generous with it. And I used about four to five pumps per section, but it did a really good job just glazing over the curls that were already very much defined and I didn't have to work it in very much at all. I went ahead and shook my hair because I know how my hair can stick together sometimes after using cream and mousse together. And I just wanted it to be nice and individualized and it's curl clumps and look at the clumps. Look at the clumps. They are looking clumpalicious, scrum deliumptious. It also felt proper weighed down. I like my hair to feel a little weighed down because that indicates that there's oils in my hair and that helps my hair a lot. Oils from the products. So I was really excited to see this dry. All right, I'm fresh from under the dryer. I sat under the dryer for like 15, 20 minutes, got up and diffused for another 10 to 15 minutes. And then I took the diffuser off and just blew my hair around once it was like 90% dry, focusing on the roots, getting the roots dry and any other pieces that weren't dry. And you guys, my hair, it's, it's so soft, so flowy. You guys can clearly see that. Very soft, very flowy, very defined. My hands aren't like covered in grease. They are a little oily when you touch, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I just used so much product. My hair feels extremely light and I think it, it's gonna look really good once I stretch it out. It does have a little bit of frizz on this side. Um, I think that's just from touching it a little too much before it was dry. My hair feels light and it doesn't smell like much of anything, which is something I really like. If you don't know, I do not like strong smells. I like salon smells if you know you know the salon quality smells that you get from products like the weed odd i love the way the mazani products smell i just love inner sense even though some of them kind of smell okay majority of inner sense products i like the way they smell but this is giving very muted very unscented and i like it so i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like before i stretch it out so i'm gonna go ahead and stretch this out and i'll be right back Similarly to how I band my hair, I stretch my hair in six sections when I use my blow dryer. I will leave out my edges and I will not stretch my bang area, but the rest of my hair gets stretched. I'll spray my Weed Odd Mongongo oil on it and I will stretch it with high heat and then move on to the next section. This wash and go, I didn't stretch it as much as I normally would. And it was because I really enjoyed the curl definition. I didn't want to mess it up. It's a very light hold and I was already experiencing some frizz on some pieces of my hair. But nowadays I stretch a little bit more than that.
I like to go in with cool air after stretching my hair with the hot air because it seals the cuticle of my hair shaft and it just helps my style stay in place and it just allows me to keep my hair stretched for longer. I really enjoy stretching my hair for volume. After that first day of stretching with a blow dryer, I typically will not do it until it's time to reset my hair. I didn't overly stretch my hair when I stretched my hair out and you can kind of tell just the way it's sitting right now but it just feels so good, so full, so healthy. It did a great job of defining my curls and really holding my curl clumps in place. The mousse was highly moisturizing. I let that sit in my hair and air dry for about 10 minutes and it sculpted the curls. Like it was even more sculpted and dried down like in its individual curl clumps. This cream is so rich that it's really like an, a midweek only type of deal. And I said something similar with Innersense when it came to the protein and stuff along the lines of that. There's a lot of protein in those products, but this, this is highly moisturizing. There's, I think, wheat protein as well in like the deep conditioner. I didn't end up using the deep conditioner that I purchased along with this. They had like a two for 12 going on and I'm probably gonna exchange that deep conditioner for something else just cause I use the K18. And I already have deep conditioning products that I really like and I'm at the point where I'm using a lot of products but I'm eliminating a lot of things and I've used that before. It's a good deep conditioner but I really just want to focus on things that I actually am in love with. I'm going to ban this and we're going to see how it holds up but for now this is a really really nice wash and go. When I consider affordable wash and goes this is one of the nicest like affordable wash and goes that I've had. It is a really soft hold though, so that's kind of what I'm worried about. It's already feeling very, very fluffy. There's a difference between looking fluffy and feeling fluffy, as in the hold isn't gonna last for a night. So that's what I'm kind of concerned about, like if it will actually hold up after being banded. So we'll see tomorrow morning. Good morning, it is day two. Let's see what she's trying to do. Okay. This looks really good. I thought the definition would go away because of the bands. Similar to what happened with the Curlsmith Strength line, like the night before it was fine, but when I took it out of the bands, it was stiff. I mean, it was a protein-based product. So that's what it is. That just didn't work out. But this, this gives a great moisturizing feeling, which makes me feel good since the Inner Sense did give me more of that protein feel, that strengthening feel, and I wanted to balance that out. So here we are. Day two results, they look really good. I'm gonna do my usual banding routine, go to bed, and come back tomorrow on day three. And all right, y'all, this is my day three hair. I will be co-washing today and refreshing this. It's still extremely, ow! It's still really soft, very, very soft. When I took it out of the bands, I did spray it with my Wee Dodd Botanical Boost spray a little bit, shake it around, and I went on a walk. I have good volume. I'm really loving the volume that I have. Now it is a softer hold than I typically like. Like it's a lot fluffier than I typically go for, but it's not bad. It's just not something that I would always like tend to reach for. I like a little bit more hold, a little bit more definition, and the definition has kind of just gone in a lot of spots in my head. So the bangs are really what's keeping it together because the bangs look so defined. Everything else is kind of just like, whatever. So quick talk about the product. So the styling cream, it says it's ideal for curls that need extra control and conditioning. Ultra rich whipped cream is enhanced with coconut oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, and wheat protein. Love that. To provide superb curl definition and frizz protection. It's great for twist outs, rod sets, and protective styles. So, so yeah, nowhere on these products does it say ideal for wash and goes, but it gives a soft, light hold wash and go. I can't speak much to the ingredients because again, I'm just not too educated on ingredients. And of course I want to learn more about ingredients, but right now I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I'm trying. Again, I am not all knowing, all being, I'm just here sharing what I know. And I like trying products and I'm starting to get into ingredients, but it's really boring. Very important, <laughs> but really boring to me. So I'm trying to ease my way into, okay, the ingredients, the ingredients, the ingredients and getting more detailed with these specific ingredients and learning more about them and how they play into hair care. But I know wheat protein is good. My hair likes wheat protein, I do know that. I am going to hop in the shower and co-wash. We will see how this goes.
As you can see, the definition had completely gone out of the back of my head pretty much, and that's a telltale sign that it's really time for me to co-wash. So I'm going in with my absolute favorite conditioner right now, the Olaplex number no. five, and I'm just getting that all over my hair, detangling with my Weed Odd double row comb, and then styling like I did the first time. This time I decided to put on a shower cap after I was done so that my hair wouldn't be in my face when I showered because I needed to get all of that product off of me. Didn't lose a lot of hair during the co-wash and I did not end up using a lot of the mousse at all, but I used like two thirds of the cream during this week. This is what my hair is looking like right after showering and letting the product sit in my hair together. And for me, it makes a lot more sense to do this rather than to put the cap on right after the leave-in. All right, so the shower took me 50 minutes. My roots were the last to dry. And I will say with co-washing, with the more product you have on your hair, of course, it's gonna take more time to dry. So I just rounded up in total. This took like two hours. This is what my hair looks like after having it dried. It's super soft. Very, very defined, a lot more defined than it was, I believe, the first time around. And that's usually what it's like when I co-wash, except for when I did the, the Miche set. So the Miche set, the definition the first time around was really good. The second time, it wasn't as good, I feel like, but random thought. I did enjoy sitting with the cap on my head in the shower while I showered. It had my hair out of my face while I showered. I'd say letting the products marinate together in the hair is a lot better for me than just hopping out and sitting immediately under the dryer. It gives it- All right, it's later. Okay. All right, y'all, it's later. And I ended up clearly just not stretching my hair. Either way, I think I'll like the look better if I just wait till the morning, sleep on it, and stretch it in the morning. So I will do that. I'm gonna throw on my Glow by Day bonnet. Link in the description box. Use code Brittany H for a discount. I like the way that sounds. Got my glow by day bonnet on. I'm going to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, y'all, it's the next day. It's a little bright because it was looking dim and I just turned up the brightness a little bit, but sorry if it's really bright. The hair looks great. I just finished stretching it with my blow dryer. I stretched it as I usually do, except this time I used the concentrated nozzle and focused on my roots. The hair is bouncy, it's soft, it's light. It feels great. I have some clips back here because I'm about to go to the gym. This is really nice. This looks a lot better to me than it did the first time around. I think the layering of all the products is helping my hair hold in the moisture. I'm fully anticipating not having to reset my hair tomorrow or co-wash. It really is a scalp thing, like how is my scalp feeling? But with these products, they are heavier and I don't want to way down the hair. I don't want to do anything that's not really necessary to do. All right, you guys, it is day five. It's a few days after I co-washed my hair and here's what my hair looks like. I really like it. I didn't think I would, but I, again, I still absolutely adore my shape. So I love the way it's doing its thing. It's not flat. I love that. I really don't like flat hair. It's just a personal preference. And the reason why I prefer fuller hair is, yes, it's for the look, but it's because that's what the hair wants to do. Some people who naturally have really straight hair look gorgeous with that really straight hair. But my hair is not naturally flat on my head. It takes products to get it that way, and that's not a bad thing. It's just, I think that it complements my face and my energy better when it's fuller. And I just am digging this, like, I really like it. I just got back from the gym. It is Friday. I did my hair on Sunday, so it is day six. This is what it's looking like. I still think it looks absolutely stunning, honestly. I love my hair like this. I love it even more after co-washing. Twice a week co-washing, I'm liking that so far. And of course, it really just depends on the products, so. Who knows? It'll change up as the products change. Okay, y'all, it's actually Monday. I did not get to come back Saturday or Sunday, but this is what my hair is looking like. It's in a cute little soft fro. I don't hate this, but it's definitely time to reset my hair. Overall, I really do 
like these products. Now, while I enjoy these products, I'm looking for products that I absolutely adore, absolutely love, and I do like these products a lot, as I said, but I wanna be clear with what I'm doing here. I'm in a phase right now of trying a bunch of products and finding things that I really like as my hair has gotten longer. I had staples when my hair was a little bit shorter, when I wasn't stretching my hair. I'm creating more staples now because some of those staples are just irrelevant. Some of those wash and go favorites are no longer favorites and it's a constant growth, it's a constant change. But the point isn't to push a product on you, the point is to push nuance on you and for you to not just blindly follow the directions of what somebody tells you to use and find your own nuance. With that being said, these are great products. As far as affordable products go, these are my favorite when we're talking about the most inexpensive products that I've used, these are my favorite. It's good to know that these products are around and available uh, but they're just not the first things that I would reach for. Love the wash and go, thought it was gorgeous. If you're like confused by how I think about my hair and how I choose my products, I'm picky and I'm stubborn and I like what I like and sometimes I don't have the vocabulary for it. <laughs> but I'm working on it, okay? With the knowledge that I know now about myself and about hair care, it is something that I would not typically reach for because there's just better options that I can afford, but this is great to know. <laughs>